Good morning, YouTube. Though my name is Nono, and welcome to the Park. Now, the Park is a horror game that is based around the concept of an abandoned or haunted theme park. And basically, why I'm playing this one is because the Park is a narrative experience, best played in the dark room wearing headphones. And it I uh, can't do that. It deals with subject matter that may be disturbing some players during the course of play. The Park may manipulate graphics, audio control settings, and your sanity. This is perfectly normal and should not be cause for alarm or whatever that word is. Psych psychiatric. Yeah, that thing. Anyways, I wanted to play this because a lot of people have been wanting to know why I'm afraid of clowns. And I figured this would probably be the best game to actually find clowns. I hate clowns, in case you're wondering. I cannot stand them. I get very, very afraid of them if I'm ever near them. So I figured this would be the best game to showcase that fear. Mind. And with that, I'm going to shut up. Atlantic Island Park. Where's Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Ooh, nice tat. You got a flat butt, though. <laughs> Stay in the car. I'll go and ask information. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh! Oh! Oh my god, it's pretty! I didn't expect it to be so pretty. Is that my son? You got a cool dragon shirt on. I'm totally digging your dragon shirt. Can I run? No, I cannot run. Atlantic! Island Park! Drink bingo! Attention, patrons. The park is now closed. Bullshit. I'm going anyway. Make your way to the car park at your earliest convenience. Um, no thank you. Why is this up on the mountains? Hello? Ticket booth? Maybe? No? Door? Door? Okay, I don't know how to interact with things yet. Or maybe I can't... Oh, wait, there's a person over there. Oh. Okay, now I can't, like... Well, now I can't look at stuff. Okay, there we go. You're awful fancy. Huh? What the shit? Uh. She's got a hatchet necklace. Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath. Think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop! I think your boy just ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates for you. What? Okay, I'm not liking this at all, but, you know, whatever. Okay, now I can't look. Oh, there we go. Why do I have to do that? That's so stupid. Tell him I told you to wait in the car. Nathaniel Winter welcomes you to Atlantic Island Park. Hey. Callum, where are you going? Over There's here. There's something special about the entrance to an amusement park. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side, it just so happens the to be a big ten fucking lies. shelter. And on the other, anything we might dare to dream. I do like the flowers. It's no though. wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. Attention employees, the park is now closed. Have a safe journey home. Is it getting like more and more decrepit? Holy shit. Wait up there for mommy, Callum. This way. Oh my god, it is. Oh my god, is this like Silent Hill? Wait for mommy, Callum. This way. What? Okay, this just... Oh. Well, this just got really spooky. Come to Mommy, Callum. Oh, God. The park. Oh, what great. Here? Now I have to run around. Perfect. Come back. Uh -huh. You can't catch me. Bullshit, watch me. Get back here. I don't want to deal with no clown. No, 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 go. Uh, don't go in there, Callum. Callum! Callum, you dumb bastard. Get over here. Clearly I didn't teach you discipline. What is moving back there? Eh. No! Shit. Come here, you bastard. Oh. Well, hello there. This is... Wait for mommy! K 
Carrie Killen is Satan's- Ah! How dare you insult me like that! I must go get my son. I'll deal with you later, sign. Oh, okay, that toggles it, so I don't have to hold it. That's monumentally helpful. Thank you. Run backwards, maybe. Nope, can't run backwards. I'm not playing anymore, Callum. Get your ass over Come here. This way. Where the hell are you? Over there. Do I have a flashlight at least? No, I don't got shit. I don't have anything. Examine shoe. Don't I mind think if this I do. Belongs to Callum. You are freaky looking. Chad the Chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk guy in a suit. Chad the Chipmunk welcomes you to Atlantic Island Park. Chad can be seen in daily ice sculpting shows in the following locations. 11 a.m. Shiat Alley, 1 p.m. the Octotron, 3 p.m. Park Entrance. Uh, Chad the Chipmunk, worst in class. Chad can't even seem to pass. Chad gets angry, likes to fight. Chad is beaten every night. Chad like have a dead-end job. Chad will die a useless slob. And that is what we call poetry. I can't move now. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. My game short-circuited. Handwritten What's note. What's this? Purchased the land on Solomon Island for a pittance. I might add, however, old Archie Henderson did to, did to the locals just mention of his name, and people had slamming doors and locking shutters from the moment I arrived in the island. My lawyers had arranged everything in advance, but the realtor still had to come and deliver the keys to me personally. It took it upon himself to offer me mo another warning. I don't know what you're planning to do with this land, Mr. Winter, but the soil here is bitter with a curse carried from the old country. Old man Henderson, he did terrible dark things. The land remembers, sir. I dismissed him shortly afterwards, mostly amused by his pathetic attempts of warning me off. I have a great vision for this place, and I will, and the will to see that the vision through to the very end. Atlantic Island Park. The name is perfect, and I cannot imagine it being anything else. This is the start of something amazing. Okay, this mouse sensitivity is shit, too. Maybe I'll change that in a second. Alright, it got better, never mind. It's still shit, though. Like, I can barely turn around. Oh. Excuse you? Tunnel of Tales. Callum? I'm gonna guess Callum, Callum went in here. Stay where you are. Callum, you d I think God wants me to get on this ride. Come on, mommy. Are you really on you son of a bitch? You bastard. Uh Callum, where are you? Screw it. Ride the swan. Go! Oh, Jesus Christ. This is not going to end well, is Mommy it? Mommy needs to see you, Callum. I think she's afraid of the park, too. <laughs> this is horrific. Why a swan, though? The Tunnel of Tails, I would think like a log something, maybe? Not a fucking duck. I don't trust this. Those are either spotlights or but they're, they're spotlights. Okay, good. Oh, okay. Near a great forest, there lived a poor woodcutter, his wife and his two children. A boy named Hansel and a girl named Gretel. They were very poor and had very little to bite or suck. That's a weird way of putting things. What will become of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. I tell you what, husband. We will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow and abandon them there. No, my wife. I cannot do that, said the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel, Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. Okay. The next morning, the woodcutter a, leads the children into the There's a squirrel. Before they leave, there's a fucking squirrel right there. Of bread and warns them they will get no more food that day. Uh, 
clever Hansel leaves a trail of white stones behind them as they pass into the woods. When their father leaves them, the children wait a while, then follow the trail back to their parents' house. Okay! We're just After not going to address that. That's cool. Holding from their parents for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without yeah. any supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. Callum, where did you go? In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. What? Who? Chipmunks behind me, isn't it? Breadcrumbs to lead them safely home, <laughs> but hungry-eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs, and his trail was destroyed. Okay, this is clearly just the tale of Hansel and Gretel. Abandoned by their parents and unable to find the trail home, the children wandered in the forest for three days. I don't remember that. Um, yeah. The children stumbled into a clearing with an exceedingly strange house. Its walls were made of gingerbread, and its windows were panes of clear sugar. I remember Hansel, that part. Desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. It'd be nasty, though, because you think about the water in there? Ugh. I'm just looking for that fucking chipmunk again. Oh, little mouse. Who is nibbling at my house? Did you really speak in rhymes? Emerged from the house, sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes. Oh, you dear children, who brought you here? Just come in and stay with me. No harm will come to you. But Hansel and Gretel stayed back, for the old woman reminded them of their cruel mother. Come, children, don't be afraid. I have something for you. It's a very ineffective ride. The old woman offered them two enormous lollipops. Unless there's an analogy here that I'm not the quite understanding. And I mean, my son has run off in the woods, but I wasn't going to kill see? him. Nothing to fear I don't think here. so. Come inside. The old woman urged, and the children, still licking their sweets, followed. Yes. Once inside the house, the old woman changed. Can't look behind me! Into a cage and put Gretel to work. I think Chad's doing something. Cleaning her hut. Your brother will make a good mouthful. Which told Gretel, once he's just, just stay calm. Up, don't don't I engage. Don't engage. I'm just gonna look straight. I'm not gonna do anything else. Don't wanna antagonize Time nobody. Passed, and poor <laughs> Can't a white man ride a white eat. swan through a stupid cave and not get hurt? The witch would eat him. The witch, for her part, grew impatient. Today I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Climb inside. And light the oven. No. But Gretel pretended not to understand. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? Fool! The old oh, witch Jesus said, Christ, it scared me. The opening me. is here. And she moved to <coughs> show Gretel. Get in there! Seizing we gonna cook courage, you! Brave Gretel gave the witch a shove, and the old crone tumbled forward into the oven. Gretel slid a large iron bolt over the door to the oven. Gretel this is morbid! And, and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed and begged, the children sat by the oven until her screams had still. I remember that part. And the witch was cooked. And then nothing else. And then she was just because dead. Because even children can't survive on sweets. They divided up the body of the old witch and ate her. I don't think that happened, but okay. Did they really have to add that part? I got a feeling Chad's gonna chase me as soon as I get off this ride. 
What the shit? Can I help you with something? Eh, you better turn the hell back around. What you looking at? Ain't looking at nothing. I don't know where the stupid chipmunk went. But I'm kind of concerned. Okay. That was kind of pointless. Swan, gingerbread, and chocolate. Okay, good. That stupid thing's not... Yeah. Hello? Kill him! Hansel and Gretel. I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Those poor children. The whole world against them. The forest. The birds. The old witch. Even their own parents. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister. Hand in hand against the unkind world. We were always hungry. Looking for our own house made of candy. Looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Hunger leads oh. people to desperate, terrible places where the tree branches reach like claws. That was Mommy a sad needs to see you, Callum. That was a sad story. Uh, uh, uh. Another accident. This place. That's blood. Despite the constant interruptions to work, I should probably stop reading that. Okay, now you have to constantly hold shift. I get your meaning, dude. I, uh, yeah. It's so cheap, you can't do that. You can't do that. You can't, uh. Don't play off my fears like that, you bastard. Don't, ooh! Oh, wait. They said something about the... Okay, the chipmunk thing's supposed to be around here somewhere. Or at least that's where it said it was supposed to appear. I don't want to really know. Octatron and Stay where you are! What the hell? This old thing used to make the blood run to my head. It'd make me... Examine report! The guy just... snapped. Those poor kids. Oh, yeah, 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 I'm so confused, I don't want to... Why the dramatic picking up music? Oh, yay, the bridge is out! Exactly what I wanted to know. Eh, yeah, chipmunk, not cool. I can't get on while it's moving. Decrease speed. Decrease speed some more. One more time for good measure. Callum! Where did you go? I'm really confused. Okay, there we go. I did it. It's all good. Am I just supposed to be riding all these stupid rides? Yeah! Who cares if this place is morbid? I'm t What? Wait a second. I saw a chipmunk. There's someone in that stupid booth. I'll get a good look at him next time. I will see you. I, I know you're in there. Oh shit, okay, never mind. Can't oh shit! What the fuck was that? What are you? That is not... Okay. <sighs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Who was in there? Okay, that's cool. Don't explain anything. Callum, come back here right now. That's cool. You don't have to explain anything. Don't have to explain how that happened. Treachery hides in thoughts. A treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing and I thought, is that it? 
We build our world from expectations, and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. And they shattered, and as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. Okay, I'm not quite sure what that means. Does that mean like kill him? And... There's something in that house. Is, does that mean that like kill him is a. I don't know, like something she made up in her head to make her sane? I'm not quite sure. But I'm gonna have to leave this video here because we are running out of time. So, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help me out a lot. And as a matter of fact. Okay. Hit that button if you want to subscribe to me. And tell your friends about me too, that'd be great. So I will see all you no-bros later. What's that? Panda Pete says bye!